Hello seafarers, welcome to Sailor School. In this video, we will be learning about one of the most important plans of the ship. It is damage control plan. Of course, most of you cadets might not even have referred to this plan, I guess. But please note that this plan has all the information which may be used as reference when the ship is damaged due to any factors. So I'm just uh, considering an example to let you know the depth of this damage control plan or the importance of this damage control plan you can say. So for example, consider a situation where a fellow seafarer or one of your friend has met with a, some serious accident on board the ship. So you might have the knowledge of providing him with basic first aid. But for complicated procedures, you will have to get guidance from the shore doctor or from any manual such as a medical first aid guide etc. So you will have to refer to those manuals. The reason I am talking about this medical first aid guides and stuff is because similarly if a ship gets damaged, damage control plan acts as the source of information which can help the ship to survive or to delay the damage that is going to happen. Damage control plan does not mean that it can help the ship to escape from the damage. It only provides the guidance to control the damage which has already have been occurred or delay the ship from sinking. What are the requirements of damage control plan? Under MSC circular number 1245, the guidelines for damage control plans and informations to the master has been well briefed. Even so, last chapter 2, 1, regulation 19 states that all vessels have to be provided with damage control plan. So both these requirements of MSC and SOLAS talks about that what all information needs to be provided to the master of the vessel in order to sustain a damage that has occurred to the ship as well as where all these plans are located on the ship, visual guidance to the master etc. So in case if oral examiner asks you regarding these requirements, then you must answer by keeping in mind the MSC circular number 125 and SOLAS 21 regulation 19. If you want to refer to these documents, they are free and they are available online. You can download them and you can have a look at them or else you can watch my video till the end. Everything I will explain in this video is just an easy format of those uh, regulations which you can find in online. So let us talk about contents of damage control plan. So guys just think practically in case of any damage to the ship then what all information can be useful for the master of that vessel to sustain the damage occurred. So the answer for this question will be in points. So please make sure you understand these points make a note of this. This can be asked in your examinations alright. So number one watertight boundaries of the ship. So boundaries basically refers to the hull of the ship. Inside the hull, uncontrolled flow of water is never allowed at all. If there is an uncontrolled flow of water, that means the ship is already faced damage. Number two, the location of all internal watertight doors, hatches and their closing mechanisms. Mostly, you can notice the locations of all internal ramps and both local and remote controls of the ramps. So basically we are talking about the internal watertight doors. Number three, the locations of all external watertight doors or ramps etc. Their closing mechanisms too. Now don't uh, ask me like in my ship I don't have an external or internal watertight doors or ramps and all. So it, everything is ship specific. So all this which we are talking about are the basic information which must be present in a damaged control plan. So if your ship does not have them and they don't need to be present in the damage control plan. Okay, please understand that. So if you guys don't know what kind of ramps and uh, arrangements are there on Roro ship, please make sure to watch the first videos which I have made regarding the Roro ship. It is a little bit boring, I agree, but uh, the points which I have explained in that are more than enough for you to understand the entire construction of a Roro ship or the cargo loading and unloading of the roller ship. Number four, the location of all weather tight hatches, doors, etc. 
these weather tight fittings can usually be found above the bulkhead deck of the ship number 5 the location of all doors present on shell of the ship number 6 any arrangements present to correct the list of the ship due to flooding so basically in these arrangements we will consider cross flooding systems so this is a picture that shows what a cross flooding system looks like if there is a damage to any one side of the ship then the cross duct present on the ship doesn't allow the ship to list excessively to one side which usually happens very quickly in case of damage of course due to the cross flooding system a lot of water can enter into the ship when it is damaged but on the positive side you can say that it prevents the ship from listing excessively which can also sometimes capsize the vessel so cross flooding ducts are sometimes important in maintaining the stability of the ship during a damage situation number 7 location of all bilges air vents bilge and ballast pumps sounding pipes fire and gs pumps etc along with them we will get to know about the information of all the required walls on ship i feel this is all the information which we can get through the damage control plan okay damage control plan is drafted or made by classification society which also later must be approved by the flag state themselves mostly this plan will be made during the design stage of the ship itself also please note that damage control plan and damage stability booklet are two different documents containing different information of course inside the damage stability booklet we will find a copy of damage control plan for reference during any emergencies i'll be making a separate video on damage stability booklet so that you will understand it easily without being confused with the damage control plan in that video we will also talk about differences between damage control plan and damage stability booklet so damage control plan where and all it is located at you can find it in navigational bridge which is an requirement and you must find it at ships office which is also an requirement too any navigating officers or officer in charge or master himself must be able to readily access the damage control plan that is all guys thank you for watching till the end if you have found my video interesting please like the video and comment below do subscribe to sailor school for more inter